Hi, thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already, please hit the like button down below to like this video and also hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be kept abreast of all future content I'll be creating in the future. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Nirmal. In today's video, I'm going to give a quick primer of T-Mobile USA's 5G network. What some people may not know is that they are using three very different types of 5G, all being in use today simultaneously. The first type of 5G is called low band, the second type is called mid band, and the third type is called high band. All these three types are distinct from one another and offer very different potentials for speed and coverage. This is why when a smartphone user is connected to one type of 5G, they may get blistering speeds over 10 times faster than 4G LTE, but then lose signal just by walking down one city block. And then when they're connected to another type of 5G, they may be disappointed to only see similar results to 4G LTE, but can get coverage even in the rural countryside. The first thing I'm gonna show is an animated GIF image from T-Mobile's website, which explains these three types of 5G. After that, I'll show you a still screenshot from their website, which shows the bands and frequencies that they use for their 5G network. The reason why this is so important is if you're bringing a non-T-Mobile branded phone to their network, if that phone is missing some or all of the 5G bands, that T-Mobile uses, then you'll get very poor or no coverage at all. That's why it's important to know which bands T-Mobile's using and then check if those bands are supported on your smartphone by looking at its specifications sheet. Then I'm gonna show you three speed test results from these three types of 5G to show you the kind of speeds you can expect during your day-to-day -day usage. And then finally, at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you T-Mobile's coverage map on their website. And one major complaint I have about it, which I hope that T-Mobile will fix in the near future. So without any further ado, let's get started. Here is a GIF image from T-Mobile's website, which briefly describes the three types of 5G. High band gives the fastest speeds, but worst coverage. Low band gives the lowest speeds, but best coverage. And mid band is a compromise between the other two. This is a snippet from T-Mobile's website showing the four bands they currently use for 5G service. As you can see by the frequencies shown in parentheses, N71 is their low band 5G, N41 is their mid band, and bands N260 and N261 are their high band, also called millimeter wave 5G. Now I'm gonna show you the kinds of speeds you can expect with these three types of 5G. This is a screenshot from the diagnostics menu of my phone. And when you look at the very top line, you'll see that I'm connected currently to the N71 5G band. And now I'm gonna run a speed test to see what results I get from that band. So the speed test shows that I got a download speed of 211 megabits per second and an upload speed of 88.3 megabits per second. Now you'll see I'm connected to the N41 5G band and I'm going to run another speed test and see what results we get. And you can plainly see that the download speed on my N41 speed test is much faster than the N71 speed test. Because high band or millimeter wave 5G is not yet available in my area, I'm displaying a screenshot from someone else's iPhone with a speed test result. And you can see that with millimeter wave 5G, you can easily get over one gigabit download speeds. These results, of course, are something that low and mid band 5G simply cannot attain. Now I'm on T-Mobile's website at their coverage map, and the map is focused on the city where I live, Houston, Texas. And you can see that pretty much the entire city has 5G coverage. Unfortunately, as of this video, their map does not tell you which type of 5G is available. So among all this magenta, I have no idea where is the low band 5G, the mid band 5G, or the millimeter wave 5G. So I really hope that T-Mobile will be able to fix this in a future update. 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like the content, please hit the like button down below to like this video. And also hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be kept abreast of all content I'll be creating in the near future. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.